We have a new map in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. And a new castle on an island which must be put to sea. Because this castle is defended by the baddies of all baddies. We've got Mongolians. We've got World War II German soldiers. And we in the Nazi killing business. And not only is this fortress held by about... I don't know, 1,000 men. They've got the outer town that's held by entrenched German positions. So to attack it, the first wave is 2,000 American GIs equipped with Thompson submachine guns. Now, as we start this battle, there is a new god power that has been made available to us. We have all kinds of things like nukes and Noah's flood, tsunamis, but this one is a tornado. So if worst case scenario, if we can get a unit that can conjure up magical or mystical abilities, they could use the tornado to attack the fortress. Gentlemen, we must take that fortress and many of you are gonna die. Maybe even all of you. Also watch out for the tornado that some idiot fired out there. I don't know who it was. The Americans are already taking gunfire from the town as the Germans with their bolt action rifles, well, see them silhouetted out there on the open ice with no cover to speak of. These are the elite of the elite over here. They were told to hold this position at all costs. And as you can see, no matter how many bullets are flying directly into their faces, they will hold this position. I kind of worry about the Mongolians ability to use their melee weapons but I'm curious if they're also armed with bows and arrows. Look at this crazy guy. This man's insane. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna win the war all by myself. I'm not even sure he's been shot yet. Now he's got compatriots running up to join him. We need a unit like Captain America to lead the charge with a shield. Now that would be epic. The defenders started out with fifth, a little over 1,500 and attackers had 2,000. Attackers have only lost eight, whereas the Germans the defending ones in this town are absolutely decimated. But they're caught out in the open and there's still the castle that must be laid siege to, which is pretty well defended. It has only two gatehouses, two natural entrance points on opposite ends of the fort, each heavily defended by a garrison of German troops. The war on the outskirts seems to be falling away from the Germans' ability to defend. However, some troops have taken refuge on the far side of this beautiful Viking log house. As you can see, the Vikings departed the area because, well, there's a freaking battle going on. So this ship is left unfinished. And I think this is the outhouse. People would climb to the top and then they would poo off it. I don't know, Vikings were crazy. Don't fact check me. So at this point in the skirmish, it is still going the way we thought it was. What is surprising to me is how few American troops have fallen during this assault. I'm not entirely sure why, but I think the Germans seeing this will need to recoup. And the Americans have taken the town and are calling in reinforcements. But wait, what is that? Hans, Hans, Hans! We must get the reinforcements! The American troops have regrouped at the Viking town. Some of them climbed on this house to get a better view and in Viking fashion, poop off of roofs but some of their reinforcements came in via the endowment of a brilliant scientist billionaire, Tony, St I mean, Nikola Tesla with his ha hair dryer gun. No, I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's a, a Tesla coil gun. And they've called in the power of the Jedi, which all look like, what's that one Baywatch actor? What's that guy's name? They all look like him, don't they? That's weird. Anyway, and the Germans, have regrouped and called in additional reinforcements. Now, they're all armed with bolt action rifles, but they do have a pretty decent defensive position. And they do have their swordsmen on the ramparts, and as they see the enemies coming in, they're gonna pour down the stairs, and these guys are belly flopping off of a house. The battle is crazy, it makes no sense. But when you see a bunch of dudes in bath robes with kids light up swords coming at you you think you got it in hand until that kid's light up sword cuts your friend Hans in half the battle is absolutely crazy and look at just what a few Jedi Knights are able to do honestly it's got to be the bathrobes it's the only explanation now as the Jedi storm in it gives a pretty good defensive position and allows easy firing for all of the American GIs on the outside of the base this looks like it's an absolute route. The Germans will have to pull a deus ex machina and use a time travel device to go back in time and call in reinforcements. And they've called in 
a force of Tyrannosaurus Rexes to ambush the attacking forces from the flank. So this is actually gonna cause some absolute mayhem among the allied faction's lines. What we need to do though is look for the man, the myth, the legend, Nikola Tesla. He's out here somewhere. We need to look for lightning shots. Unless, of course, he's already been eaten. Oh, wait, I can see lightning blasts right here. I see the blast, but I do not see the man. There he is. Oh my God, he almost got eaten. I think he did just get eaten. No, I still see lightning blasts. He might be doing that from the belly of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh my goodness. The numbers of troops are dropping catastrophically. The T-Rexes are destroying the allies. Well, they too will have to use a time machine. And they're calling in a blitzkrieg of their own. Sherman tanks armed with 76 millimeter barrels are somehow not falling through the ice. And remember, they do have a secret weapon. Now that they've got Jedis, they can call in mystical abilities like tornadoes. So let's see what a tornado does to T-Rexes. It's not picking them up and throwing them. Oh my God, <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. The tornado is literally destroying all of the American troops and none of the T-Rexes. I would say that is an epic fail. And whoever called that in needs to question their strategic acumen because they seem to be lacking. They have been weighed, they have been measured, and yes, they have been found lacking. But the tanks are doing a very decent job at countering the T-Rexes. One thing that I think would be really cool in this game is if you could turn on a zombie virus so when a unit dies, they turn into zombies. Can you imagine zombies versus T-Rexes right now? I don't, they just do not have the firepower to take down these T-Rexes without the help of these tanks. What they're gonna need to do is summon thousands, tens of thousands, no, hundreds of thousands of Jedi to attack this fortress. Also, let's see a tornado as they come out the gate. <laughs> Can you tsunami? This, Huzzah! oh, I did it the wrong way. Somehow, I called it a double tsunami. Never mind. Okay, so the Germans had magical abilities, and now the Americans need to regroup. Right now, the Laser Knights, aka the Jedi, are only at 300. Let's change that to 100,000 units, and then times 10. A million. <laughs> Oh my god, this is a terrible idea. And every other unit is gonna be put in the castle and turned on the other team. That's including Nikola Tesla. That's all of these guys. Nikola Tesla, oh, you poor man. You're gonna get absolutely wrecked. He's he's gonna hold. Why? Because I think it's funny. My computer might melt. Your sanity might melt to see Sherman tanks and T-Rexes and army men all pooping off of the roof of Viking houses. T-Rex is on battlements. It makes no sense. But neither does a million Jedi. I think even at the height of the Jedi during the golden ages of the Republic, I don't think there were this many Jedi. But I also wasn't there. It was a long time ago and in a galaxy far, far away. Now where's the poor man himself, Nikola Tesla? Buddy, you are about to die. Hope you wore your brown pants. <laughs> he doesn't even face to them. And he's dead. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait a minute, what's going on? Nikola Tesla's sacrifice bought some precious time for the Germans to sally forth their Tyrannosaurus Rex cavalry because this is a totally accurate, ultimately epic battle that's being simulated for you today. Jedis versus T-Rexes. The T-Rexes, I mean, they're doing a decent job, but like there's just too few of them to deal with. Well, look at this. This is what one million units looks like. In the old world, if there ever was a battle where one million people attacked a fort, this might be what it looks like. There'd be no way that this ice could hold up this much weight. Maybe. I live in Florida, so what do I know about ice? The T-Rexes are holding bravely. The Sherman tanks will be literally probably the only chance. But we've got an issue. I think what we need to do is go into strategic mode and call all of these units outside the battlements. It, it, it doesn't seem to make sense, but if they clog up this hole and don't have enough troops outside, I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to create a big enough killing field. Then again, did we just mess up their mojo? Attack, move. Secondary orders, attack. There we go. They restarted the fire. I don't know who was in command of those forces, but they're either brilliant or terrible because now it allowed the Jedi to get even close and storm this fort. This is what 
a million man siege looks like. But look, where the Jedi are about to open a second front as they pour in the rear gatehouse. And who is this? Mongolians are falling from the roof. What are you? The Mongolians are kind of crazy. They're like, you know what? We don't need to stay on this. We have a sword. <laughs> I'm going to jump down there. That's smart. The Jedi are pouring in. I'm not sure what the bad guys could do. You can't stop it with this much men. There are less than 2,000 versus over 999,000 men attacking. This is the grandiosity of sieges in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. It looks like ants. Death by a thousand cuts. But these cuts are no ordinary cuts. They are Jedi lightsabers. Where did you get this many kyber crystals? Begun the Clone Wars have, the Jedis have been cloned one million times. It's insane. What would be cool is if this game had physics to where you could have destruction physics on the castle walls and maybe if you put too many men in a certain area on the ice, it would break, they would collapse, and they would die. Now we're talking about needing to formulate a proper strategy to attack this castle. You'd have to set up catapults on the islands and attack it that way. But we do not have the option. So somebody who's a game developer needs to make that kind of a game. If only we knew one. Oh wait, ha ha ha! Wish list, Stickman Trenches on Steam right now. Do it, or a T-Rex will stand on top of Viking House and drop a big fatty. I'm serious. This is kind of nuts. I mean, I don't even, they've lost, I guess it's 3,000, almost 3,000 men, the Jedi. Nikola Tesla wasn't able to do much, but what if, here we go, all of the natural disasters, oh my gosh, this is what a, Jedi tornado looks like. Wow, that is impressive. Now, what we also need to do is a nuke over there. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't even know what's left alive anymore. I don't think anyone knows. And here is a tsunami to pick up the pieces. The laser knights may have won, but at what cost? That nuke took out half of their numbers. Probably the biggest purge since Order 66. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jedis have taken the castle. We've seen the raw power of tsunamis, nukes, and tornadoes, but sheer numbers seems to be enough to win the day and take the castle. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy this video of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 and you do want to see more, leave some suggestions for what battles you'd like to see. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.